the trade. I'll say it again, the trade. I should have made this video a long time ago. I've never verbalized this before, but I'll verbalize it, okay? And I hope to uh, repeat this so that I hear it for myself. I wanna hear it for myself. Here's how I, here's what the proper trading is supposed to be. So this is the proper trade. The proper trade must occur in this manner. First, I look for certain stock signatures. Once I uh, view the stock signatures, then I select one stock. I select one stock based on chart patterns. The chart patterns indicates to me uh, which direction the stock will go. I can look for at this stage of the game I am not familiar with other uh, setups. One of the setups that I am definitely not aware of, which I uh, which decimated my account today, is earnings and sympathy uh, plays. And I was on the other side of the uh, stock movement uh, of Costco, and uh, I should have gotten out earlier, but I did not do that. So this 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 video will help me understand this is truly this is this this video is long long awaited uh, video I I should have made this video a long time ago but I did not in ideal situations uh, after selecting the stock and then picking which direction it's going to go then I time the market for that one stock and see how I can enter or exit that stock. So I pick a point. Either I enter early in the morning or a little bit later when the market conditions uh, have stabilized and, um, and perhaps uh, if I am, so there's two things that I could do. Uh, one, of the setups, one of the setups is trend trading. The other is um, reversals. And reversals these days have been far, far, uh, and, and, and rare uh, uh, these days because it's a bear market. And uh, initially it would go up and it just starts dropping and uh, it, just, it just stays there until the close. So most of the actions occur in the morning. And if I get in, it'll, it'll uh, go up a little bit and I would see some profit. And if I somehow added to, to fuel the greed, then what it will do is it'll just start dropping. And I will not, for some reason, I would not sell. So ideally speaking, after I select the stock, uh, I look for a, a proper entry. And then I get in. And when I get in, I wanna get in with just one contract uh, near the money. What I've discovered recently is that if I am near the money, the movements of the options will be small compared to something that's deeper in the money. Uh, the deeper in the money would cost more to purchase, but the one that is uh, somewhere between uh, flickering, uh, in, uh, uh, f flickering between uh, in the money and out of the money, that's where the uh, where, the, where the price of the options are cheaper uh, and, and it would uh, gain a significant amount uh, if the stock does move uh, right so right after uh, right after I make the purchase uh, and if it, if I choose to go long then I know I should have a limit and so right after I buy then I I have to insert um, okay so 
there seems to be some background that's listening to what I'm saying, and it seems to be comical at this stage. However, for me, this is this is life or death, and so I need to be very, very. We're talking about money here, and and this year it has not been uh, the loss has not been uh, kind to me whatsoever. It's already May, and, and uh, so I need to turn this around. And so verbally, I need to discuss this, okay? So first, I select a stock. I look for the setup. Then I get in. Once I get in, then I pay very close attention as my, my money is at risk. So if the stock keeps going up, then I have to, I have to make sure that I, that I pick a point where I have substantial amount of money. The money that I have decided that the stock that I bought will be able to support uh, because if I set the limit too high, then the uh, if the uh, <clears throat> if the average trading range, the expectation is beyond the average trading range of the stock, then it's most likely the stock will go up and it'll dip. Uh, because it'll never never reach to the point where I set the limit. So I have to set the limit in a, within a reasonable amount. And at this stage of the game, uh, reasonable amount is fairly low because I need to go for the greens. I need to make green days. I have to make the green days so that I can change this thing around. So that, so that when I take two steps, then I make a small half a step back. I take two steps, uh, take a quarter step back, the, that is the name of the game at this stage of the game uh, because I cannot afford to lose anymore. But if the stock goes in the other direction, then I need to just say to myself, this is it right here. Because at that point, I should have identified at a point where the stock drops, which means that there is a uh, chart pattern that indicates to me that there was a support area where I set the uh, 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 sell for a loss right slightly beyond that uh, that uh, support level and if somehow the stock drops below that support level then I need to get out and um, despite the fact that the complications of uh, market market makers who who know that many numerous people set the stop loss right right at a point where the resistance is, uh, then, then as I gain more exposure to experience uh, uh, through exposure to the market, that I can, I can some, somehow figure, figure some other solution out. So, so there's two avenues, to, two avenues to making a proper trade. Now, let me iterate this again, because this is very important. And the massive losses that I have so far, as really recently as today, is not being able to cut my losses fast. And at this point, the the trading has has become uh, has a mind of its own, because as soon as I enter the market, something just grabs a hold of me and controls whatever I'm doing. And at the end of it, when I close it, I have an amnesia. I have an amnesia of the events that occurred and at the end of it I'm wondering what happened that's exactly what happened that's exactly that's exactly what happens every time I trade for some some odd reason that's how it turns out to be so some sort of a psychological uh, brainwashing that's occurring while I'm uh, at the moment at the moment that I'm trading something happens it's uh, it's like a collective thought across the world that is that, that I must be part of or something that is infusing the information that others have and just completely controlling my mind when I'm trading it's ridiculous it's truly ridiculous that's um, it's you know I like before the market opens I would say to myself okay I need to cut losses fast that's it cut losses fast but somehow nothing registers into my mind uh, what that means 
So maybe, maybe I need to provide a concrete number before when I say that. Okay, cut losses fast, meaning, okay, so if, if the stock moves at a certain certain amount, uh, close to the target either on the on the sell side uh, stop loss sell side or or uh, gain a stop stop gain somewhere or limit order so I need to have those concrete numbers that says okay I got in at the price of uh, for instance $100 if the stock moves 2% down then I need to just exit no matter what even if it moves down 2% and just shoots back 5,000 points it really doesn't matter I need to control my risk and get out and cut as soon as possible and setting these limits provide I could have saved a ton of money today I that that money was so painful uh, these are the, the the loss that I incurred today was it might be might might pay thousands of videos that I'll be making uh, to to show myself what I need to do in order to make uh, good decisions towards towards making uh, making money in the stock market. Uh, Today is a prime example. So the steps to again, um, I wonder if I will be. I wonder if I'll view this. I don't know. I made it very, very long. I don't know if I'll even view this uh, video for myself later on because there's, I, I'm not getting to the straight to the point. The straight put to the point is this. I have to, I have to practice, uh, look at the stocks, uh, figure out what the entry, select the stock, uh, figure out where the entry point is, which direction it is, it needs, the, 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 which direction that I want to go based on looking at the technical information and, and other uh, other sources of information that tells me okay this it's this stock and then uh, the stock is going to do this uh, today then I have to set these limits after I purchase the stock that says okay if the stock does not go in the direction of my thesis then I need to cut it no matter what at this price at that price at that particular price and I cannot bend the rules uh, because the stocks that I'm playing around with or trading with is a, uh, it, can, it can move. It can move and it can just completely wipe out my account uh, in a single day. So I need to be careful about that. And so the objective at this point is to, for me, just to go through the process over and over again so that I understand. And, and, and making greater amounts of money uh, is later on. Uh, the first step to making proper trades, I should have made these, this video a long time ago. I pray this helps me uh, connect myself to the decisions that I will make. Um, so the proper trade is uh, search for the stock, look through the stocks, look at the, look at the charts, and, 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 and keep an eye on a trend or the setup that I want to use. Once I identify what the set of setup is, then I need to I need to recognize where I need to enter, uh, and then I, I, I get in based on where the trend is, and it's going to be a put or a call, whichever one is going to be, and it's going to be a one contract. I will not trade more than one contract for each of the stocks, any stocks, and I will not I will not uh, add one contract to any other stock while I'm trading that one first stock. The name of the game at this point is to be consistent in making trades. Once I achieve consistency for a particular time, then I can take that same uh, rules that I've established for myself, and then, and then I can just multiply 2x, 3x, 4x, 5x. That's all I need to do. Okay, that's it. So once I get in, I set my OCO, one cancels the other in TD Ameritrade, then uh, I know at what price that I can sell based on the movement of the stock, uh, evaluated based on the movement of the stock, and then I need to set the limit. And after I set the limit, then I care. I, without any distractions, I look at the stock to see if it's moving in the direction that I want. However, it is possible for me if the stock moves in the direction where uh, the stop loss is imminent, 
then I should just I can I have the ability to cancel the trade and then just exit uh, at that moment so that's the proper method of day trading for any stocks that I will do from this point forward I said this right after I just came back from washing dishes um, it didn't uh, today's today's Wednesday it wasn't that busy but uh, somehow uh, I'm not sure uh, it's maybe it's the weekend or maybe it was yesterday that uh, I had to work quite hard it is just maybe that's why it's carrying over to, to now I'm not sure what the whole deal is but the trading trading part okay so I need to cut this quick so I gotta get some sleep uh, this is very very important this is very very important it's a step-by-step -step process it's very it's only like what is that five different steps five different steps seek search for a stock um, two things that needs to occur after that which direction is going to be and uh, at where where am I gonna get into it okay which direction I want to go and uh, I need to pick a point where I buy uh, the, the entry point and then once I get into the entry point I set the automatic uh, sell points limit order or stop loss so once I set those automatic automatic uh, settings then I move into the next uh, stages it's already the next stage is already done which is uh, selling selling either for a stop loss or a uh, stop gain stop limit and if I set the OCO then it'll happen automatically okay so that's the proper trade so let's say okay so so today if I were to have traded uh, traded Apple okay for instance uh, this morning I got in very early like uh, like eight o'clock in the morning mountain standard time which is 30 minutes after market open so so at that point I should I should not have I should not uh, have purchased uh, Apple even though it was so it started out gap down and then it moved sideways a little bit and then it just uh, started to linearly just slowly just start dropping so what I should so what I did was I bought before so after, right after the gap opened and it was stabilizing and then before it took another uh, another turn it, it continued its turn downturning but what I should so I bought and then another mistake was made uh, maybe 10, 10 or 20 minutes later uh, the stock dropped and then it looked like it was bouncing up so at that point, I should have sold instead of adding. So I actually added to a loser. So, so that was, and then, and then, um, so I'm just, and then after after a while, uh, luckily for me, um, I did sell before the end of the day, where the end of the day was the lowest point for Apple today. Um, so the proper trade is to make sure that if I see a loser, sell it. Just sell it. Okay? Just sell it. Just let it go. If I don't let it go, that one or two or three, if I keep holding it, it can just wipe my account. Just wipe it out. I wonder where where that number, big number one, uh, 1,000 was. It just disappears into thin air to somebody else's pockets. So they're running their business, they know what they're doing. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm taking every very hard earned money, and I just, I'm just giving it away to other people. I don't wanna do that anymore. You don't wanna do that anymore. You, you don't wanna do that anymore. I, you, we don't wanna do this anymore. So what I need to do is make sure that I have these numbers correctly uh, set up before entry, after entry that I need to enforce it and then I need to learn uh, the Ten Commandments of day trading like this uh, do not add to losers okay that's one of them right and uh, adding to the winners we can just think about it some other time um, so I need to follow these rules to the T I need to, I don't know how it's gonna happen. I said this to myself numerous times before, but I, I don't listen. I don't know why.
I have no idea why. Some psychological thing that's prohibiting me from make, taking proper uh, uh, action when I'm risking. Uh, it, it's literally blood money. This is, this is, uh, wow. This, this is an incredibly hard job that pays uh, very low uh, and I, I'm, I need to I need to figure this out if I don't figure this out because this this is this is that so important so pick a stock uh, find the entry point set the OCO and then sell automatically it sells okay and 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 hopefully I made the right decision where the stock is in in the direction of my thesis and then it'll just limit out okay so um, hopefully 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 now I make the right trades hopefully I've created for myself a the right conditions to make the right trades um, 